we want to determine the area of this parallelogram. Remember, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has two pair of parallel sides, and the area is going to represent how many square units would fit inside this parallelogram. And since the units are in meters, we'll determine how many square meters will fit inside this parallelogram or this green shaded region. And the area formula for a parallelogram is area equals the length of the base times the height. Where this side here would be the base, which is the same length as the opposite side, so our base has a length of 50 meters, and our height, which is perpendicular to the base, is 38 meters. And that's all the information we need to determine the area of this parallelogram. Notice how we don't have to use the length of this side here. So the area is going to be equal to 50 meters times 38 meters. And notice how by leaving the units in our product, this reminds us that our units are going to be square meters. And then to determine this product, we'll use the commutative property and change the order of this multiplication. So we'll have 38 times 50. Remember when multiplying by a multiple of 10, we can just put a zero in the ones place value and then multiply by five. So five times eight would be 40, carry a four. Five times three is 15 plus four, that would be 19. So our product is 1,900, so the area is 1,900 square meters, which again represents how many square meters would fit inside this parallelogram or in this green region.